Here, in the western province of Herat, in order not to starve, families are now selling some of their children to buy food, bringing back an ancestral custom, the sale and marriage of children. Gul's husband sold their 10-year-old into marriage without telling his wife, taking a down payment so he could feed his family of five children. Otherwise, he told her, they would all starve. He had to sacrifice one to save the rest. Arranging marriages for very young girls is common in the region. The group's family pays money to see the deal, and the child usually stays with her parents until she is at least around 15. Yet, with many unable to afford even basic food, some say they'd allow prospective grooms to take very young girls or are even trying to sail their sons. Deals are now reached at younger ages than previously seen. Local leaders say the number of children brides started rising during the famine in 2018. Many of Afghanistan's growing number of destitute people are making such desperate decisions as their nation spirals into a vortex of poverty. Afghanistan's aid-dependent economy was already teetering when the Taliban seized power in mid-August, amid a chaotic withdrawal of US and NATO troops. The international community froze Afghanistan's assets abroad and halted funding, unwilling to work with a Taliban government given its reputation for brutality during its previous rule 20 years ago. Behind almost every door in these villages, a similar situation. In Afghanistan, the humanitarian disaster is already there and could become one of the worst in its history, however, already tormented 